Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Cooler Master Silent Pro Hybrid Power Supply. If you recall that Cooler Master also has a Silent Pro Gold Power Supply, which was named so because it has an 80 plus gold certification. Now the Silent Pro Hybrid also carries an 80 plus gold, but it got its hybrid name because of the nature of the cooling inside. Instead of going all um, going without a fan, a completely fanless design to get the silent name, uh, Cooler Master opted to include a hybrid option where the fan will actually just ramp up if needed. And uh, they've also included a fan controller where you can control the speed of the fan that is inside the power supply and also three more system fans inside your case. Now, as for specifications, this is a it also has 82 amp on a 12 volt rail, similar to the 1000 watt model of the Silent Pro Gold. It carries a 5 year warranty. This is uh, slightly higher, 1050 watt rating. And it also comes, it is the first power supply to ever carry an integrated 7 volt fan port to connect, of course, your fan controller. And uh, let's see what other specifications we have here on the side. You have uh, just basically multiple languages, it just tells you to look up more information on the Cooler Master's website. And here, uh, the box itself carries the new packaging from Cooler Master with the uh, the cover is not gloss anymore compared to the older um, Cooler Master design. Previously, the Cooler Ma the Silent Pro Gold actually is gold and black, but it carries the traditional color of uh, a plum and white and uh, blue green uh, color lettering there. And here at the back see some of the features. It has fully modular cables and that's also a difference between the Silent Pro Gold and the Silent Pro Hybrid. We have here uh, the Silent Pro Gold had some cables as a locked in inside but this is actually a fully modular power supply. Even the 24 pin power is modular. So you also have the as already mentioned the integrated 7 volt pan, fan port. A fa 5 and a quarter inch fan controller included. You can install inside the case adjustable and 35 millimeter silent, super silent hydraulic bearings fan and of course the 90% with 80 plus gold certification. Now here you have a graph of uh, how the fan reacts, the hybrid fan when it ramps up. See there at 200 watt load it will start to ramp up but a I would say about uh, 800 rpms and the maximum here is uh, with the fan voltage is 2000 rpm and with the fan speed is about halfway at thousand, but the thousand seven hundred RPMs. And uh, let's try to open up the box here. Actually, there's a table here of specifications. See the connectors in there. You have uh, you have uh, six PCIe six plus two pins, so you can do up to triple SLR, triple Crossfire X, and you have the AC input and DC total power breakdown here on this side as well. So you got eighty two amps on twelve volt rail, so just a single twelve volt rail. And also, depending on where you purchase this, you have the US type, European type, Australian, and Chinese, Korean, and five others in the UK, Japan, Taiwan, and uh, I think BR is for Brazil and other. So there's, uh, this will be a worldwide release, power supply, and we'll have carry different versions. And now let's open up the packaging so we can see what we can find inside. Here, just flip it on this uh, side here. And there is a similar packaging to Silent Pro Gold. You have more foam at the top and the user's manual. It's a simple black and white manual the, for specifications and the pin out and connectors. And here is also the function panel for the included fan controller. Well, let's put that aside for a bit and let's look at uh, the Cooler Master limited warranty. Uh, here's a um, service and warranty service information mounting screws here is the employed fan controller now let's uh, open this up so we can take a closer look it's sturdy it's actually metal I was expecting plastic but uh, as you can hear it's metal it's quite heavier than I thought it would be and you have the of course the auto you have LED tools there and a auto and manual setting. Flip it up, and here's for the uh, power fan speed. 
and here is for the system fan speed so here in the back you will connect here up to three fans for your case from your case and here's the connector to the power supply let's put this aside put it back on this packaging and the wires are needed they've also included these uh, so three wires here to connect to your system fans, three pin fans, and uh, from your power supply to the uh, fan controller. Notice that it's uh, also has a covering here. And here is the Silent Pro Hybrid 1050 watt power supply itself. It's a bit snug in there, so let's actually just. That. It's also quite heavy. Make sure that there's nothing left underneath the compartments. There you go. How about the, let me put that aside. So we're going to open up the accessory. Let's just take a quick look. And I'm going to put this aside for a bit and continue on with the rest of the accessories. It comes in its neat little bag in here. And then we just put aside the entire box. Here we go. A cute little bag there. Similar to the one found in the uh, Silent Pro Gold Power Supply. Here you will find all the modular cables and of course the power cable. And let's pull out the single ones first. This is your 24 pin motherboard power connector, which is about uh, 65 centimeters long. Now these actually are fairly long cables, so it's easier to manage. And also more um, screws. Now there's actually a screw to mount into your power supply, uh, your power supply into the case, and I'm guessing this one, the smaller ones, are for mounting the fan controller into your, your five and a quarter inch uh, front bay panel. And uh, inside here are the six pin PCIe connectors. Let's see, tie down. Now they're, uh, they're colored gray on one end and black on the other end. So you don't confuse because the gray, since it's only one, will actually go into the power, the power supply itself. All these ends will go to your video cards. Now these are actually about 75 centimeters long. It's also fairly long, so you have more room to route even if you have a full tower case. And here we got the peripherals. Takes a bit to, okay, I completely lost where direction I was going, but uh, I think this is, there we go. That's the right side. And here we go. Just lay it out so we can see what connectors we're working with. These are all black connectors, and they're uh, actually thin. They, they're not the traditional uh, cabling that we see in the multicolor, but this is actually just similar to the Silent Pro Gold. And here is a SATA connector. It's about 80 centimeters long, and you have four in each, and about 100 centimeters, about 10 centimeters uh, gap in between each connector. Yeah, SATA right there, and here is the floppy connector. Yeah, there's two Molex with a floppy, just a single floppy connector there. Here is the this is the eight pin CPU. And there should be a pair of these, and here's another one. Because if you if you have the uh, higher end power supplies, so you will get because there are these motherboards that have up to a pair of 8 pin uh, CPU connectors so you can have additional power when you're overclocking so you put it in there and this is about uh, 70 centimeters long and here is another Molex connector and more SATA and another SATA so actually let's put all these cables aside and let us take a look 
have the Sonic Pro Hybrid power supply itself. All right, so here we have the Cooler Master Silent Pro Hybrid 1050 watt power supply right out of the box. And as you might hear, it's quite heavy. It's hitting here, it's hitting the tail right here. And uh, now the paint over here, you can probably see it. It is uh, textured. It's different than the Silent Pro Gold. It's not, uh, it's not, com doesn't feel completely rough, but there's, but uh, has a very unique paint job right here. It looks very attractive. Uh, looks like it's double dipped in something. Uh, it's like powder coated. And here, um, this end, you have the fully modular connector panels here. Of course, you have four for the uh, PCIe slots. And um, there's also a diagram here to show you where to connect it, just in case you're not familiar. You have the, here's where you connect the fan controller. And here's a pair of seven volt, three pin fan connectors. Here is where you connect the uh, CPU, 8-pin power. And here is where you connect all the hard drives, both the Molex and the SATA connectors, and of course the 24-pin power connector. There is, about, uh, there is a little plate here on top. There is, um, appears to be plastic, but it's very thick plastic right around it, supporting the um, face cover there and here on the side. Just basically just a printing of the SPH Silent Pro Hybrid 1050 watt power supply. Looks very attractive. And here you can, uh, you can see through some of the internal components. And the previous Silent Pro Gold was uh, made by Enhance Electronics and uh, has some of the features. Now this actually has the same, some share some of the same features as the Silent Pro Gold internally. It has the uh, patented heat transfer technology as a L-shaped heat sink to remove heat from a PSU. It's got a hybrid transformer which has the uh, transformer combined with the with the heat sink itself and it also the hyper path where the IC is placed close to transformer so that you'll have huge efficiency rating and uh, to the switch here and the power connector. The switch is not your uh, traditional size. It's a bit too small. It's a bit uh, fatter this time and here on the other side is also the same as the other side, as you can see, just the SPH 1050 watt. But here at the top, you can see a breakdown of that uh, max power rating. You have the 82 amp on 12 volt rail, a 948 watts on that 12 volt amp, and the rest goes from 150 watt to 3.3 and plus 5 volt, and 3.6 watt to the minus 12 volt, and 15 watts to the plus 5 volt SP. Come to 12.6 watt here with the plus 7 watt and also some of the other features here uh let's see just some warning information and uh, let's see what okay the atx specification is like 2.3 and the eps 12 volts uh, specification is 2.92 now here at the bottom you can find the 135 millimeter silent ball bearing fan it's a different design this time and for silent pro gold you have a you know, aluminum plate covering here just locking the fan in place, 125 millimeter fan and uh, you can actually control this with the fan controller so you don't, it doesn't need to ramp up if you don't want it to but of course it will operate at a higher temperature and it could affect efficiency the, uh, the nominal temperature, operating temperature for this is rated as 40 sing uh, degrees Celsius I think uh, even the old the Cooler Master Sound Pro Gold is rated for 40 degrees Celsius as well. So uh, let's see how well that performs. Let's put it into our system and let's see how the Sound Pro Hybrid power supply performs, not just uh, in terms of power loading, but also the fan control, whether it is silent or not.